So those are the areas. So now if you look at this picture, so let's just focus. So now using the Marshallian demand curve, does that seem like a crazy idea? Does the Marshallian demand curve seem crazy? Not in this example. In this example, it doesn't seem crazy at all. It's somewhere between the two of them. Right? It sort of says, well, it's somewhere between the 1951 and the new one. All right? Using the Lesperre's price index from 1950 corresponds to that one. And you can see this is an example where we've understated the fall in the cost of living using the Lesperre's index. Because this box is smaller than that, even that demand curve. Okay? If we used the, what if we used the posh index? What would the posh index? We said it would be this big area. Now, what would the chain index be? What would the chain index correspond to? Well, we would use for 1950 to 50, well, let's assume prices were just falling over time. What would we do? Well, we'd use like one little box here, then we use another box, then we use another box, right? We'd just be approximating the area under this demand curve by this series of boxes, right? That's, that's what we would be doing, right? Right? That's, that's the way we'd be proceeding. We'd be We'd be approximating this. Oh, I should be going out to this curve, sorry. I should be going out to that curve. Right? Now what is the what 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 would Fisher's index do? What would Fisher's correction be? Which would, what would Fisher do for a given change? So Fisher would, Lesperes would do this, Posh would do this, right? And then Fisher would correspond to, like, so but Posh would, Lesperes would only do that, right? Would just do that little rectangle. The Posh index would do the big rectangle. Fisher would do kind of like half of that rectangle, right? It would kind of be kind of like approximating that triangle as opposed. Now your question about why I use geometric versus arithmetic, different, different notions of approximating that half that rectangle, right? One's geometrically and one's arithmetically. The nice thing about using the half is that it's going to accumulate real nicely when I multiply all these terms together. I'm going to be able to collect all those price terms together and I'll be able to collect all those quantity terms together because it's going to separate out real nicely. I'm going to split each year into a bunch of powers and then I can collect all the price and quantity. If I was adding them together, the world doesn't work out so nicely, right? It's, that's always true. Whenever you use kind of geometric things and you're looking at growth rates, they're going to accumulate much more nicely, okay?